Upgrades. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back yet again for another Hell's Paradise episode. This is episode eight, and I cannot lie to you guys. This was emotional. Um, easily probably one of the most emotionally uh, destructive, resonant episodes that they've done thus far. Um, yeah, I'm I'm hurt. I can't even lie to y'all. <laughs> like, I, I got to the end of the episode and I was like, yeah, today's not the day I'm crying. I'm not, I can't do it. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to actually let out tears. Uh, but that does not negate the fact that this was a very emotionally resonant episode. This was a very good episode because honestly, if nobody had seen the series before, knew anything about it, never seen the animation, it just started from just this episode alone. Um, it's kind of like a standalone in and of itself. It, it, it sets the tone for what the island is, the dangers, what these actual hermits are that are on the island and what they're capable of. Like they are pure monstrous beings that get off on exacting torture. And um, they are unlike anything you've seen because not only are they capable of healing, but like they can't die effectively as far as what we know. Uh, but this episode centers around the samurai Tenzin. Tenzin and Nora, uh, I keep getting her name wrong. Nora Gari, is it Nori, Nori Gai, uh, Nori Gai. Um, so we know that episodes past, like he had came and presented to her, like, look, do you want to live or not? And she kind of was like, I don't know. Then he finally protected her. She wanted to live. We found out she was a girl later on. She wants to marry this man. You know, like she keeps saying it. She keeps saying it. And this is a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the episode, go and check it out. Um, so be forewarned, whatever I talk about. And I didn't. I honestly was kind of like give a little bit of years, like maybe, you know, like maybe they have something like he's going to protect her, get her off this island and all this kind of stuff. Like she was going to survive. Lo and behold, like they, they were planting in us like, oh, wow, a redeeming samurai. Samurai that actually is noble that wants to protect somebody like, Sir Geary is not the only one like okay like he's kind like he's gifted like he's gonna put his life on the line and then you meet his master it shows up in this episode uh Xion. and like at first I was like okay they gotta get away and I was like this thing is not gonna stop you know I, I kind of felt like that was gonna happen but I would never have suspected what happened at the end of this episode like I I was I was thrown off because I was like, dog, like they just pulled a Game of Thrones on me, bro. Like they got me sized up liking the character, valuing a character, maybe wanted to see a character go forward. And I'm literally looking at the last moments of their life, them recounting the last one. Like, like, and, and the crazy thing is, he's still a whole town, bro. Like I, I was like, I got so much respect for this man because... I mean, he doesn't have regenerative abilities. Like, he just have his own capability. The crazy thing is, like, if somebody like him, right, goes through what he went through with just one of these, I know for a fact what the hollow is capable of. But when you got a situation like this, I, 
I don't I don't know what they can do. Like they all are gonna have to work together. They're not they're not gonna survive. They're not getting off that island unless they make peace or make friends with some of them. But even then, that's still a lot, bro. Like I don't know. I don't know how you get past some of this. Um, because when I look at this episode and I see, you know, Nuragiri's like emotions and her emotional state from what's happening and kind of what that meant um, for her to realize what's about to go down, like it, it was just hurtful, bro. Like it really did hurt. <laughs> I don't know any kind of way to say it because I was rooting for this. I was rooting for this um to work out and even crazier is they gave us a dope backstory of the master of Xion and kind of his old protege and like how you know essentially he he effectively had to kill somebody that he loved um all out of the line of duty and it was kind of like, okay, you see like how he progressed as a person, as a teacher, as a master um, and trying to truly teach. And, and, and the crazy thing is even the way they ended the episode, bro, they used the, the final moments of their relationship and how that looks um, in line with the outro. It's outro is beautiful touch for this one, but it's just, even when the master tried to get involved and protect and he wasn't, he couldn't, he wasn't capable of it. And I was just like, this is a lot. I mean, the show in and of itself is really good. I, I really do commend them, uh, whether it's the animation, whether it's the tone, uh, whether it's the sensible processes of what's right and wrong, like, you know, the measure of a person's life and kind of what this does. I think the Demon Slayer does that as well. With a lot of the demons, when they start to get killed, um, they start to recount like how they got to where they were. And Tanjiro is sympathetic enough to understand, clarify, and let them have their moment. And it's kind of like with each one of these characters, whether they die or live or whatnot, you see what brought them to this island. If this island is a metaphor for the afterlife or judgment, so to speak, um, it, it's even more fascinating because when you have a character like Tenzin, like he even said, like from Rip, like I grew up on the streets and, you know, to see where he came from, to see how it ended up, it's just, bro, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel, bro. Like I'm actually, I'm, at, <laughs> I'm actually hurt. I'm actually legitimately hurt by this. Like, this actually really did hurt. Um, that threw me, man. I, I don't have any more words because I feel like the more I talk, I'm just going to be ranting. It's just, uh, it was a great celebration of a character, um, but at the same time, equally hurtfully regretful. Um, so, yeah, if you've never seen uh, the show and it's your first time watching it and understanding, um, you know, just off of this episode, trust me, like, go back and see, like, there's so many more character dynamics that are very fascinating outside of the scope of this island and the mystery behind it. I just know, I'm curious, like, how, what are they supposed to do? Like, these things regenerate. There's, there's no effective way of killing them unless fire is that. I, I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace, people. Filing out the top of